Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Porter at you. I guess you're wondering where I am. If you've been down here before, you know exactly where I am. But it's gonna, I'm not gonna give it away right away till I get closer. But um, a lot of you know exactly where this location is because you've seen it in other videos. Uh, I'm just going to give you another pan of this area. Kind of gives it away just by going that far over. But um, today we're doing a um, First Amendment audit of the gas company. See if they respect your right to record in public. See how they had the sign in, Homeland Security notice? Suspicious activity report to police. So I wonder what they consider uh, suspicious activity. So it's gonna take a walk down here to the guard shack and see what's going on. Now, uh, uh, quite a few people done audits over here. Um, I believe Granite State did one. I believe um, Accountability for All had did one. Mass Accountability has done one. I'm not sure if Audit in America did one, but I know he's been in this area. But, um, I guess you can't do an audit unless you do the audit of the uh, National Grid uh, gas tanks. So, let's see how they respond. If they, they say yes, say no. Now, they, they've been putting these holes all over the... These are, these are kind of new. They never did these before, but they're putting these around. Just letting you know there's natural gas right underneath this... Um, this line right here. So, it's, you, call, you gotta call 811 for dig safe. And they inform you if you're in the right area or not. Alright, let's take a walk down and um, see what we can see. It's not much to see, but I'll probably hang around for like maybe 15, 20 minutes to see if I get any um, anybody who's uh, approaches. They got like signs along the whole fence saying no parking. Um, so they don't nobody digging and that's a good reason because they have a lot of lines that crisscross under here so if you start digging in the wrong spot you could have a problem I don't know if you guys know this but um, years ago um, wow in the 70s 60s 70s and maybe early 80s there used to be two tanks over there one said um boston gas it was it was gray and it said boston gas on it this one always had the same colorful colors on it they painted it over in, over the years but um those of you who've been in boston for years there used to be two tanks up there and i guess they took one down because they figured out one was sufficient enough to um, supply this area. Um, it used to be two side by side. Like, if I'm correct, it should be one to the to the right of this one, but it's not there anymore. We're going back some time. So, National Grid, all employees and visitors must show ID, no exceptions, which is good. Let's see. Um, see how well they respect the First Amendment right to record in public. As you see, I'm not going to go on their property. I'm not going to go by their gate. I'm just going to stay in the, uh, I guess you call it the public area, which is, which is here. And if you get some kind of contact, then you can uh, go from there. But um, I would think that most of them should already know what they can and cannot do from so many auditors coming down here. 
But then again, there's always one that just doesn't know that has to be re-educated. So, where's the private property line? How, how far? This right here? So to be right here be good? All right, so he said this is the line. I only stepped back like one foot, but he said that's the line. There is no actual line line that I can see, but I respect that he said that's the line. I don't, there is no line. Hold on, let's see if there's a line. Um, well, we can assume from this corner right here could be the line. It's not really marked, but we can assume from this corner right here to that fence post at that corner could be the line. If I turn around, yeah, there's no, well, I respect that. He, he, I only backed up like a foot and a half, so that's not like a major thing. So it looks like they understand the, um, the First Amendment. Because a lot of guys appeared in videos and they, they understand that you do have the right to record in public. Uh, employee pocket only. LA Universal. That's a, that's a popular company that has a lot of um, security companies. This guy here, I don't know what he's doing. How you doing, buddy? He's like, he works for security too. He could be the supervisor, who knows? This is the boat yard. I, I never knew this was the actual boat storage place, but I guess if you have a boat in the marina, you can store your boat. I'm pretty sure there's a fee, but you can store your boat in there and, and um, keep it out of the, uh, the waters. I'm pretty sure they must charge you some kind of fee for that. Not too sure. Old Colony Yacht Club. That's what it says over there. I heard of that before. All right, Victory Road, 235 Victory Road. All right, so looks like everybody respects the right to record in public. So, that guy got a broken window in the back over there. I'm not too sure what happened over there. That's... Hmm. Alright guys, they do have a couple of cameras up here too. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's a few of them. There's like one by the gate right there, which is right, right there. There's another one that's like right up there. And how you doing, buddy? Uh, do I work here? No, I work everywhere. I'm everywhere. I just I'm just recording in public. You work for the company? You said they can, they can or they cannot? They cannot? Who said that? That's, that's, but that's, that's for on your property. That's not for out here. That's for only on your property. It's for the Homeland Security. See, Homeland Security, like, they only have say-so after on your property. Outside here, this is this is the public. Okay, buddy? I just let you know. I don't want to get you in no trouble, but only if I go on your property, that's something different. But if I'm out here, it's, it's, it's I'm in the public space. But thank you though, appreciate it. So I guess um, he, he was telling me Homeland Security was saying you can't, I don't know, so Homeland, Homeland Security was saying you cannot take pictures of the, of the property, basically he was saying. But Google Maps comes down here all the time, takes photos. As a matter of fact, they, they do have satellite imagery that focuses down on the same facility so I don't think that you no know what it is a lot of people give give people wrong information because um I remember when I worked for the hospital and I, I worked I worked for the all throughout the Longwood medical area for years 
and the hospitals were saying the same thing. They were telling people, um, you can't have people take pictures of the lobby, can't take pictures of the building. And I was young at that age. I was in my early 20s. And I'm saying to myself, how am I going to stop somebody from taking a picture of a building if they're outside? And it, and it didn't dawn on me that, you know, we actually had a constitutional right. But my common sense was saying, I can't stop somebody from taking a picture if they're outside. It's just my common sense. Then as I got older, I realized we do have a constitutional right. And the biggest problem was that we had, we had law-abiding, or so-called law-abiding officials, like police officers, enforcing those kind of unjust rules and, and um, laws. And they would get away with it for years. Um, up until this day, the people still do it. They tell you you can't record in public, you can't take pictures, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I come to find out that either the people that are saying it are uneducated or they're willfully um, trampling on people's rights. I honestly want to say they're uneducated. I don't want, I don't want to assume that they're trying to take people's rights away from them. But then again, that is the case because um, there are some police officers that do know the law and will t try to turn a constitutional, constitutionally protected activity into a crime. And they will willingly try to make it suspicious behavior. So they always say, well, suspicion, is it a misdemeanor or a felony? And it's neither, but they try to turn it into one. And they've been known to do it, and they still are doing it up to this day. Why they do it, I don't know. It doesn't look bad for the police departments when they do do that, but apparently they are doing it. So he's towing this National Grid truck. Looks like it um, looks like it broke down or something. Not too sure what happened to it, but it's, something must be wrong with it. So that's why they're gonna tow it. If you call eight one, I don't know if you if you call eight one one, you get the actual gas company, and maybe you do. I never called eight one one before. Call before you dig. I I think eight one one is um, actually the number to to dig safe. To be honest with you, that's what I think it is. So I think it's just notifying to call 811 before they dig. If I'm not mistaken, 811 is the number to, to dig safe. It is very, very cold out today too. So if you're driving on these roads, expect some uh, slippery spots because these roads are freezing up and they freeze up very, very easily. That's a good, um, let me give these guys a plug. A, a good tow company to have if you need one. It's gonna, so in case anybody's looking for a, a tow service, You can always, um, but they don't have a number on the side either. Cause some, 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 um, some tow trucks won't tow certain vehicles. But if you need a, sometimes you need a wider, the wider bed to tow, tow. And this is the wider bed. A lot of times AAA might have the narrower bed that won't tow wider vehicles. So that's, and I believe they have the wider bed on on that one. Is it is that that's the truck with the wider bed, right? It has the wider the wider flatbed. The, no, this truck here does it have the wider flatbed? The bed is wider. What do you mean, like? Like, no, some trucks don't have the wide bed. This one is, is it bigger? 
That's the bigger one? Yeah, okay. Like that. Okay. I, I wasn't sure, but I figure I asked. Yeah. Uh, it's always good to ask questions, you know? So he does have the wider bed. Um, but one time I had a, I needed a truck towed, you know, AAA. They, they had a flatbed, but they couldn't tow it because of the, um, the, um, the, the, the wide, the bed wasn't as wide. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this, this bed is wider than the average bed. You see how there's more space on either side? So they get, that gives them more clearance to get something in there. So, so say if you had a truck with a, a plow on the side of it or something like that, on the front of it, I should say, you know, it gives you more clearance. So it, it's, a, it's a wider bed that gives you better, um, better clearance. And sometimes you need that if you got a truck that's a little wider or a little heavier. But nevertheless, some information out there. Too bad they don't have a number on the side of their truck, but you can always look, you can always look up the name, the name itself and find the company. All right, I'm headed by here because it's getting very cold out here and I don't want to be out here all day. Um, I'm not too sure what happened here. It looked like the fence got knocked down. Not sure if a vehicle went into it or, or what, but somehow, some way, that has gotten knocked down. I'm not too sure what happened over there. Something could have happened, who knows. And if you went too far over there, you end up over in that, it's a good sized drop over there. It's about 15 or 20 feet down. You don't want to go over there with a car. That, that wouldn't be too good. Alright guys, I'm Nez Porter. I'm going to head up out of here. I don't see any reason to hang around here no no one actually tried to stop me one guy did tell me you're not supposed to record the uh, building because of homeland security and i think i think homeland security misinforms them too i i i know they they try to tell them they don't want people taking pictures but then again it's like okay how do you stop them taking pictures in a public setting So I'm at I'm at the uh, Victory Road and Freeport Street. This this is like this is that exit that no one knows about. It's like a um, it's like a little cut cut exit. I think it's in the Ponce exit on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. But it's one of those exits you pass right by if you don't ever take it. This guy, uh, he just got through from loading the last car on the, um, the truck. I watched him load up those cars earlier. The pickup truck just went up. When I was coming in, he was putting the pickup truck on the top. So now he's got the last car on there. So he's probably off to uh, like another dealership or something. He's gonna do his, his pre-check. His pre before he takes off, make sure everything's secure. Always oh, gotta make sure everything's secure on those things before you drive, because one loose chain could be a nightmare. How you doing, buddy? That's not an easy job at all, trust me. You gotta make sure the one most important thing you got to know your clearance. Um, assuming that's under 13 feet, he should be able to make it under most bridges. But if he's over 13, 6, 13, 7, he could have a problem. But I'm assuming he probably did all that mathematical equation before he uh, put that truck up there. I think the highest or the the highest you can be is 13.7, but that's really pushing it. 
But then if he has the trucker's GPS, it should take him the trucker's route as well. Wow, seven cars. Bravo, 80, says Quincy Auction. I don't know if they're going to take those to the auction or are they... Um, maybe they're going to take them to the auction and auction them off. That's possible. Oh no, these cars could be, these could be trading cars, and then they're going to auction them off for the, um, the highest bidder, or they could be repossessed cars that's going to get auctioned off, it's, it could be one or the other, Adam Robert, mileage is five, three, they, they seven, could eight. be, um, they definitely use vehicles for sure. More likely, more likely people had a payment on it and they didn't pay. And now they're going to auction them off. Alright guys, I'm going to cut this one short and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until next time guys, I am Nez Porter. And just a, a, a bulletin today. Today the police commissioner, William Gross, announced this morning that he is retiring. So that means there's more to follow. So William Gross, our police commissioner of Boston, Massachusetts, has announced that he is, he is retiring and he will not seek to run for mayor. So, um... We'll figure all that out later on. Next time, Nez Porter signing out.